and their 1 billion members worldwide. At least 15% of the world's adult population are co-owners of a cooperative. According to conservative estimates, cooperatives directly employ above 50 million people and are key to maintaining the jobs and income of over 500 million people in the world. These are individual producers, such as farmers, fishermen, transport workers, and today increasingly also street vendors, waste pickers, home-based workers, domestic workers, and so on. Most of these cooperative members have obtained or are obtaining through their cooperatives the highest possible level of formality which they can possibly attain considering the environment in which they live, including in countries where 50% or 80% of the population is in informal economy. In fact, cooperatives have two centuries experience in ensuring this transition. For example, rural credit cooperatives and agricultural cooperatives in 19th century France, Germany and Italy lifted the majority of farmers out of informality and indebtedness. This process then extended itself to most of what has become the industrialized world and later to emerging countries. More recently, we see an explosion in the creation of cooperatives in public services such as health, education, energy, water, work integration of disadvantaged and disabled people and so on and so forth, including for informal, I mean, which, uh, which provides a host of new employment opportunities also for informal uh, economy workers. Why do cooperatives play such a role in the transition towards the formal economy? Because it's a fundamental aspect of their very mission, which is to satisfy ordinary citizens' needs like work, production, credit, and so on, through an enterprise which is democratic control by the same citizens. It is important to say that this solidarity-based, community-based enterprise model is defined by world standards which have been defined by cooperatives themselves, enshrined in ILO Recommendation 193 on the promotion of cooperatives, and translated into laws in most countries of the world. According to those standards, cooperatives provide to their members the legal basis, the economies of scale, skills training, capital accumulation, access to market and credit, and also social protection, and a long-term vision which will concretely enable the transition towards the formal economy and deliver higher than average employment security and also contribute substantially to development as the UN has officially recognized. Mr. Chair, may I request, in the name of cooperative members worldwide, that a strong reference be made to cooperatives in the instrument to be develop developed here. Such reference would help the cooperative system of organizations, federations, training centers, local development institutions, and so on, to contribute more rapidly and efficiently, efficiently to this process in this particularly difficult period of our history. Thank you.